Lee Aguinaldo, who was born and educated in the United States, was an abstract artist known for his wide-ranging experiments with different styles and ways of using paint. Aguinaldo was born in 1933 to a prominent family that owned a department store. From an early age, Aguinaldo was artistic, drawing with his family's Japanese gardener and copying images from comic books. While attending a military academy in the United States, Aguinaldo made visits to American museums, becoming interested in the works of the artists Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko, and Robert Rosenberg. He then returned home to work for his father's business, marry, and start a family. Encouraged by artist Fernando Zobel, who bought one of his paintings, Aguinaldo held his first one-person exhibit at the Philippine Art Gallery in 1956. His Pollock-influenced paintings, which featured drips, pools, and spatters, were not well received by the Manila public. It was dismissed as chicken scribbling, he later recalled. More than 10 years later, Aguinaldo finally quit his job and abandoned his conventional life to become an artist. Aguinaldo, who loved the sense of improvisation found in jazz music, was a passionate experimenter whose style often changed. A 1965 magazine article noted that, with intensity and devotion, Aguinaldo has explored and abandoned one style after another, forever seeking new ways to convey his personal vision. Innovative and dynamic, Aguinaldo constantly invented new ways of expressing himself. Two of his individualistic styles were his Flick series, made by flicking paint with a loaded palette knife, and his Galumph series, inspired by Alice in Wonderland which included images collaged from fashion magazines. One of Aguinaldo's tendencies was to appropriate or borrow images from other artists, including the Dutch master Vermeer. He also used images from newspapers, magazines, and family albums, sometimes transferring them by rubbing, as Robert Rauschenberg had done. To justify this approach, Aguinaldo once explained that he liked a good fake better than a bad original. Aguinaldo's linear series consisted of hard edge abstract paintings that were very simple and well organized. Aguinaldo's last solo exhibition in 1992 at the Lopez Memorial Museum featured his pen and ink renderings, his own versions of the self portraits of Rembrandt van Rijn. Despite personal inconsistencies and growing financial problems, Aguinaldo remained a passionate and dedicated artist until his death in 2007. <laughs>